Hello everyone, myself Mr. Abhijit Basayap Shinde. I am working as a head and assistant professor in microbiology at Deshbhakta Anandrao Bhavantrao Naik Arts and Science College, Chikli. In this lecture, we will discuss about various methods used for isolation and detection of mutants. In simple language, mutation is nothing but change in nucleotide sequence of the genome, while mutant is the organism that shows effect of mutation. Some common examples of mutants are exotropic mutants, antibiotic resistant mutants, and drug resistant mutants. Three methods are commonly used for isolation and detection of mutants. These include selection based on relative growth, selection based on relative survival, and selection based on visual detection. The first method includes selection based on relative growth. In this method, selection is based on the relative growth of mutant and wild type organism. Here, the medium composition is manipulated in a such a way that the only mutant will grow and form visible colony. The wild type organism is either non-dividing or killed during the selection process. The first example of this method is selection and detection of lac positive mutants. The lac positive mutants are the mutants that use lactose as a source of carbon and energy. To select and detect lac positive mutants from lac negative population, lac negative cell suspension is exposed to mutagen to increase the rate of mutation. Suitable dilution of mutagen exposed culture is spread on a solid medium containing lactose as a sole source of carbon. The plates are incubated at suitable temperature for 24 hours. The lac positive mutants will grow by utilizing lactose and form colonies that can be detected easily. The lac negative cells unable to use lactose and fail to grow and form colonies. The second example is selection and detection of hysterine positive mutants. The hysterine positive mutants are the mutants that synthesize their own hysterine. To select and detect hysterine positive mutant from hysterine negative population, hysterine negative cell suspension is exposed to mutagen to increase the rate of mutation. Suitable dilation of mutagen exposed culture is spread on solid medium lacking histidine. The plates are incubated at suitable temperature for 24 hours. The histidine positive mutants will grow by synthesizing histidine and form colonies that can be detected easily. The histidine negative cells unable to synthesize histidine and fail to grow and form colonies. The third example is selection and detection of streptomycin resistant mutants. The streptomycin resistant mutants are the mutants that grow in medium containing bactericidal concentration of streptomycin. To select and detect streptomycin resistant mutant from streptomycin sensitive population, streptomycin sensitive cell suspension is exposed to mutagen to increase the rate of mutation. Suitable dilution of the mutagen exposed culture is spread on solid medium containing bactericidal concentration of streptomycin. The plates are incubated at suitable temperature for 24 hours. The streptomycin resistant mutants will grow at bactericidal concentration of streptomycin and form colonies that can be detected easily. The streptomycin sensitive cells are killed at bactericidal concentration of streptomycin. The streptomycin gradient plate technique is commonly used for selection and detection of streptomycin resistant mutants. The streptomycin gradient plate gives minimum inhibitory concentration of streptomycin for wild type organism. The organism growing above MRC are streptomycin resistant mutants. The second method includes selection based on relative survival. In this method, selection is based on relative survival of mutant and wild type organism. Here, the culture conditions are manipulated in a such a way that the only wild type cells will grow and killed. The mutant organism is non-dividing and survives and can be transferred to a suitable medium to get colonies. The example of this method is selection and detection of oxotropic mutants. The oxotropic mutants are the mutants that require one or more growth factors. To select and detect oxotropic mutant from prototropic population, prototropic cell suspension is exposed to mutagen to increase the rate of mutation. The mutagen exposed culture is added into minimal medium containing bactericidal concentration of penicillin. The minimal medium is a medium that contains minimal set of nutrients to support growth of prototrops. Mutant fail to grow in minimal medium. The penicillin kills growing cells, that is prototropic cells. The mutant organism is unaffected and survives penicillin action. The surviving oxotropic mutants are grown on complete medium. 
to get colonies that can be tested to confirm oxotropy. This method is often called as penicillin selection technique. The third method includes selection based on visual detection. This method visually distinguishes mutant colonies from wild type colonies. In this method, plating conditions are manipulated in a such a way that mutant colonies visually distinguish from wild type colonies. The first example of this method is selection and detection of lac negative mutants. The lac negative mutants are the mutants that are unable to use lactose as a source of carbon and energy. For selection and detection of lac negative mutants, wild type culture is exposed to mutagen to increase rate of mutation. The mutagen exposed culture is then suitably diluted and spread on McConkey's agar medium. The plates are incubated at suitable temperature for 24 hours. After incubation, lac negative mutant will grow and form colorless colonies while wild type organism will form pink colored colonies. The second example is selection and detection of sugar fermentation deficient mutants. To select and detect sugar fermentation deficient mutant, cell culture is exposed to mutagen to increase rate of mutation. Suitable dilution of mutagen exposed culture is spread on a solid medium containing colorless compound tetrazoleum. The tetrazoleum is reduced to formazan in a narrow pH range. The formazan is a bright red colored compound. The wild type cell ferment sugar and lower the pH of medium to a level where the dye is not reduced. The mutant unable to ferment sugar but can reduce tetrazoleum to formazan. The formazan is absorbed on the colonies and colonies appear bright red in color. This is highly sensitive technique so it is possible to detect a single mutant colony among a lack of colonies. The third example is selection and detection of glycogen forming mutants. For selection and detection of glycogen forming mutants, wild type culture is exposed to mutagen to increase rate of mutation. The mutagen exposed culture is then suitably diluted and spread on agar medium. The plates are incubated at suitable temperature for 24 hours. After incubation, glycogen forming colonies can be detected by flooding the plate with iodine. Glycogen gives brown color in presence of iodine, thus the mutant colonies will appear brown in color. However, the problem is that iodine kills the cells. The mutant culture is not available for further study. To get live culture of mutant, replica plate technique is used. In this technique, a plate containing thousands of colonies is replicated. The replica plate is then flooded with iodine to detect mutant colonies. The culture of mutant colony is obtained from corresponding locations on the original plate. The fourth example is selection and detection of oxotropic mutants requiring vitamin B12. The selection of oxotropic mutant can also be done by using replica plate technique. For their selection, prototropic cell suspension is first exposed to mutagen. The mutagen exposed culture is then suitably diluted and spread on complete medium. After incubation, colonies will develop on complete medium. The colonies are then transferred to minimal medium by replica plate technique. After incubation, some colonies will also develop on minimal medium. Colonies which are present on complete medium but absent on minimal medium are colonies of oxotropic mutants.